Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This Vulcan Report is for Trading Monday, April the 18th, 2016. You're looking at a real-time chart of the U.S. dollar index. I'm going to make this video as quick as I can. The bottom line is there's been a lot of rhetoric and whisperings and things of that nature going on over the weekend and the word on the street and the question that I have for you all listening this morning is do they intend to collapse the financial markets today in lieu of a bank holiday startling revelations have now come out about Deutsche Bank along with other actors bad actors manipulating the precious metals gold and silver market among all world markets we know that some time ago the LIBOR scandal was out we know that the president's working group uh, on finance as far as the plunge protection team is in live and in full effect there's been a lot of a manipulation going on we know this we understand that but the word on the street now is that Governments worldwide are at high alert for multiplicity of situations that are going on right now, and it, it, it appears that there is a plan to collapse the financial markets today. I really hope that this information is not accurate, and or if it is accurate, that they will cease and desist because people like myself are getting the video out to stave off this this horrific event but word is that the, the Deutsche Bank scandal is so big that it can and will collapse the financial markets that's why they had emergency meetings the other day and throughout the weekend trying to decide what they're going to do about the scandals coming to light so I'm here to give everyone a heads up that you could possibly see some sort of a flash crash of gargantuan proportions today and the only thing I can compare it to is not the May the 6th 2010 flash crash but more like 9-11 uh, some of you were not around during that time but on 9-11 uh, they had to close the markets and shut everything down and they erased it and busted all the trades but I'm here to tell you that the precious metals went priceless uh, the dollar was like a penny uh, to everything else everything else was like 10,000 uh, to one to the US dollar it was ridiculous um, even the foods and stuff went off the off the charts you couldn't price anything everything became priceless at that point so we we collapsed before but they electronically revived the nation back to life I don't know if they will be able to do that this time word on the street is once it crashes and falls this time it's not getting back up uh, they will bring about their new world order and it'll be uh, dawn of a, of a new day so I just want to give everyone the, the heads up there's been a lot of things happening over the weekend over these past few days and word is they're scheduling to crash this market starting today as early as today crashing the market followed by or in lieu of a bank holiday so just tread lightly make sure you have emergency cash on hand things of that nature um, I do have a, uh, a 911 crash alert for the e-mini NASDAQ 100 uh, the system is not showing any other uh, crash alerts for any of the other stock indexes uh, and the weird thing is we have a rally alert in the US dollar that is not manifested yet but these are weekly signals so you have between today and Friday to see what manifests itself uh, in these markets so keep your eyes wide open again just looking at what we have before us right now switching back to the charts here momentum is flat right now trend is still down and if we take out last week's support there's there's nowhere else left to go alright this market is still looking for support and hasn't found it yet so 
we expect uh, you know lower prices uh, this week and a extended move headed down toward 92 in the US dollar barring some other major event taking a look at that Nasdaq that I mentioned to you alright as you can see right now on the e-mini Nasdaq 100 even though the market is off about 15 points it's still showing a potential um, green bar here on this weekly chart momentum is coming off okay if you look at the momentum readings all right this is a divergence indicator showing down with momentum but price moving somewhat sideways to slightly higher mm, excuse me so definitely keep your eye on on this one I do have a uh, a 911 alert crash alert on this uh, e-mini Nasdaq 100 so keep your eyes open uh, if it if it comes down if we do get a flash crash today the 4085 and three quarters support will not hold neither with this prior low here this will not hold either so just want to give you the heads up okay also right now um, you won't see it here in this video but I'm picking up on my other um, software stuff here some really weird price movement price action right now um, in the stock indexes so hopefully this is not the beginning of that uh, that that crash all right let's take a look real quick here at crude oil All right, crude oil, as you can see, is flat right now. Still has strong support at 29.62, and right now upside resistance is still at that 46 uh, target area that we discussed. So markets have not really changed, and you can tell that it's almost as if everything's animated and paused and moving in slow motion like something's holding trying to hold this together until it doesn't uh, let's take a look now at gold real quick here it should also be noted that non-correlated markets traditionally non-correlated markets all of a sudden have become correlated everything seems to be moving in tandem with the other like lockstep so you got the dollar and crude oil locking horns and moving with the stock indexes and then for every opposite tick you have the gold and silver market some days deciding it wants to move with the stock market as well then other di other days it decouples from it and then if you look at the um, the commodities like the grains like soybeans for every move that dollar makes it moves the opposite direction also and it's almost like lockstep for like point for point so that should let you know there's something nefarious going on as well markets should not move point for point per se like that that efficient all right markets are only efficient in that the the orders are matched for everybody there's a seller and you know vice versa liquidity but as far as why why one person's long another person's short that's that varies for individuals so in that in that vein markets are efficient but as far as price action goes that's where it's the randomness comes in so right now everything is flat at the same time if that makes any sense in other words the dollar can be down a little bit but the grain markets you know are on fire that can happen all right because if the overall position of the dollar is weak then the commodities are going to be strong they don't have to necessarily move lockstep tick for tick that is abnormal so what I'm presenting to you today is the markets have been acting abnormal almost like someone is Geppetto with a string and all the markets are being or dancing throughout the day with this irregular price action and dead 
momentum and volume. Look at this. It's dead right here. Look at that. Here we are in the past. Here we are now. Just, just dead. Like, everything's asleep. This is abnormal price action, so I just want to give everyone a heads up on that. And look at this gold. All right? Momentum's supposed to be turning up, but look at this volume here. How can you have a flash crash with no volume? How can you have a market melt up with no volume? You, do you get where I'm going with this? That That is not supposed to be able to happen. It's like violating the laws of physics. It's not supposed to be that on a sunny day if I walk outside of my house, I fly away. All right? We know that gravity is consistent like it's supposed to be okay it's not some days we have a light oh today's a light gravity day make sure you wear your lead boots so you won't float float away no that's that that that's not how our laws of physics work well the laws of physics that regulate the financial markets have been suspended <laughs> all right so i want to throw that out there the normal ebb and flow of the markets have been suspended something else is causing them the, the markets to ebb and flow other than the traders and institutions and normal people that you see here the volumes have been dead now for years but yet the markets still move and flow and sometimes wildly with no one in it so that should let you know that it's being pushed and pulled by nefarious forces shadowy forces behind the scenes all right so just want to throw that out there for everybody all right let's move on let's look at this silver real quick and we'll wrap it up notice how the silver is red and coming off overbought turning down all right so you see the position on these markets right now all right and this is these are real time charts you're looking at Barring something nefarious behind the scenes, you see which way the market should be going right now. We're overbought, momentum's coming off, we're red here, this should be turning down today. All right, just take note of what you're seeing here. So that, so that I'm hoping I'm wrong, and what I've been hearing in the chatter is going to be that it doesn't happen this week. All right. We don't want to see disaster this week. We don't want to see, um, you know, false flags and, you know, things like that. We want to see normality. We want we want peace. We want tranquility. We don't want disaster and chaos because once they present the chaos, it's always followed by their solution, which is worse than the chaos. So just remember, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. So take what you can and give nothing back. You never go broke taking profits. <laughs>